Would you guys like to win one of two copies of Destiny 2 on any console of your choice? Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you guys are new around here, and check the Gleam link in the description below. What is going on guys, Quality XA here today and today I am bringing you guys a brand new video on some Destiny 2 news. So specifically today we're going to be talking about some news that was updated on the Destiny game website. We've also got Deep Conversation Adventure which is a brand new adventure in Destiny, one of the first ones we shall come across. And we've also got some news on Destiny 2 guided games and some new online harassment reporting system. So let's get right into this. So first off, we are talking about the update on the Destiny game website. So there were some gameplay features that were actually uploaded. So rich cinematic story and campaign, multiple cooperative game modes for epic and social fun. And this is the point I wanted to stop you on. Intense 4v4 competitive multiplayer matches, including over 12 different PVP game modes. So it says over 12 different PvP game modes. Bit weird that they do not specify how many game modes that there are going to be. This obviously indicates that there will be more PvP game modes coming in at some point in Destiny if they do not have them on release. So we do know that Rumble and Clash are not actually going to be in the game. And there is also 5 new PvP game modes which are going to be introduced. We currently know 2 of them I believe. But regardless, pretty cool and it does sound like there is going to be a huge heavy focus on PvP on the game's release, which is brilliant. I'm a PvP player and uh, personally I believe that they should obviously focus on both, but PvP was a little left out on Destiny 1 in my opinion. The balancing just obviously ruined the whole game in general, you had people complaining from each side, PvE and PvP. But regardless, 12 new PvP game modes are in Destiny, or should I say including over 12 PvP game modes. Um, but yeah, let me know in that comment section below what they mean by including over 12. Could that mean that there's going to be private matches where you can actually create your own game mode or stuff like that? That would be awesome. That would bring me definitely back to the Halo days. But regardless, pretty awesome indeed. Next up, we're actually going to be talking about the new Destiny 2 Deep Conversation Adventure Guide. Now, this was uploaded by Segment Next, so check out the article. As always, every article I do link will be in the description below. So, let's get right into this. So, Deep Conversations is one of the first adventures players will come across on Nessus. Once they find the NPC who gives out the adventure quest using their map, players will have to tick off a number of objectives from their list in a fixed order. As they complete one objective, the next one should appear and will require players to travel around a bit more. The first objective of Deep Conversation will require to players to kill a number of Vex enemies around Nessus in order to gather collective data. Seems like a usual patrol task from the original Destiny. However, once players have killed enough enemies, the next objective will appear instead of the quest simply ending. The second objective will have players scanning a Vex cache inside of a Vex stronghold. Once players are done scanning and have killed a number of enemies inside the Vex stronghold, a mini boss called the Mind will appear and players will have to take it down. Upon completing the Deep Conversation Adventure quest, players will receive a green crystal which will allow them to unlock a subclass ability in Destiny 2. So that is all they currently know about this brand new adventure. So it does look like the adventures actually hold good rewards, them being unlocking subclass abilities. So you're definitely going to be wanting to complete a load of side quests and adventures in Destiny 2. I can also imagine there being a lot more different reward, rewards depending on what planets you actually go on and whether you can actually repeat these because obviously if you complete them once you're going to unlock a crystal which you can upgrade your subclass with but can you do it again and unlock different rewards? It'll be very interesting to see and I can imagine a big factor of replayability such as with different bosses as well as different tasks and different enemies but will be interesting to see uh, nonetheless. So next we are actually talking about the guided game. So this was quoted in an interview. So before agreeing to full raid through guided games, your clan will have a chance to chat with each new player in a virtual lobby. This provides an opportunity to go for a basic checklist. Does the player have a headset for voice communication? 
Are they ready to commit to a full raid, which can last several hours, but is also a chance to make sure that your personalities are a good fit. We get to have a moment with this person to make sure they are the type of person we want to play with for an hour or two, or three or four. If it's not a good match, you can politely decline. Though if things get ugly, there may not be a way to report that player so they can't be used in guided games in the future. Hopefully you'll have a good experience, and at the end of your raid you might even find a new permanent member for your clan. If at the end we think that spark of friendship has been realised, we can add them to a group. Bungie realises that there is no way to create a perfect online gaming community, but guided games seems like a solid step in the right direction. People are always going to find a way to troll each other, but if the first thing they say is disagreeable, we can kick them out which is really good. So it does seem like Guided Games is genuinely taking a good step in the right direction. I'm a real big fan of this because it means meeting new people online and I've always struggled to find a good raid team in the sense of being able to stay on at certain hours. Obviously all of my friends who I used to raid with, we work different jobs now, obviously we've got a little bit older, changed jobs, grown up and it kind of sucks. We struggle to get online and play raids 3v3s are fine, we get in the Trials of Osiris, well it's going to be 4v4s now, but um, yeah, we genuinely do struggle for raid teams, so Guided Games is definitely going to help me and my friends, and it will just be awesome to meet new people, invite them to the clan, and obviously you can have some fun together, like have an adventure, which Destiny is all about, so I'm definitely up for this, and I really like this new feature about being in a virtual lobby, and it obviously gives you an opportunity to go and find out some stuff about them. If they've got a headset, then that's really good. If they don't, then maybe a polite message to get rid of them. But um, yeah, really cool indeed. And also, it's helping new players into the Destiny universe. But yeah, that's pretty much the video, guys. If you enjoyed, smack a like. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. And all of the articles are in the description box below. Peace out, and I hope you enjoyed.